Okay, question number seven. So we have to calculate the effective resistance of this circuit shown here. So basically, this is R1, this is R2, R3, R4, and R5, okay? So I've simplified the diagram from this to this, to this, and finally to this. So always remember to simplify only two maximum two resistors at once okay sama juga macam capacitors you can only simplify dua capacitors only you can't do all three at once you have to simplify it by two lah by pair by pair ah, by pair lah macam tu okay so from here what i did was i simplified these two resistors here so this is in parallel so after that it'll be in series with r3 and rx so basically rx is the combination of r4 and r5 so that is connected in parallel that is r4 plus r5 to the power of negative one which will give you uh 20 oh wait let me just write down the value first so this is four this is five so this is equal to 20 over 9 ohm so always uh keep it in fraction if possible because if you round it off directly you could have get a value that is Mm, that is a bit different than the final answer scheme lah sebab kamu sudah round it off sometimes you would round it off to two decimal points sometimes you would round it off to one and usually if you take three decimal points you'll get the same answer as the final answer scheme lah tapi just make sure to keep it in fraction lah supaya dia lagi uh, accurate okay so after combining after combining resistor number 4 and 5, we'll, we've obtained Rx. So the diagram becomes like this. The circuit is now in this uh, in this connection here. So now we can combine R3 and Rx. So this is basically going to be Ry. Lah. So Ry is equal to, this is in series. So you just have to add them together. So R3 plus Rx which is equal to 3 plus 20 over 9, which will then give you 47 over 9 ohm as the answer. Okay, so after that, uh, after Ramu combine R3 and Rx, you will get this circuit here. So from here, you can then again resolve by pair. This is a pair that you can simplify. So it will then become Rz, which is connected in parallel. So it's going to be 1 over R2 plus 1 over Ry to the power of negative 1, which will then be 1 over 2 plus 1 over 47 over 9 to the power of negative 1, which will then be equal to 94 over 65 ohm. Okay, so from here, kita, uh, we are left with two resistors. So this is finally the effective capacitance, uh, sorry, the effective resistance, which is in series. So it will just be the addition of these two resistors. So it will be equal to 94 over 65. Eh, sorry, R1 plus, 1 plus 94 over 65, which will then be equal to 2.45 ohm so yang di sini kamu bagi dalam decimal point lah eh dalam decimal point bentuk point form uh, instead of fraction okay uh, giving it in fraction is not really a mistake lah you could also do that but just keep it in this type this form lah untuk kamu punya final answer alright okay so if you are confused uh in what i did you can always ask me but let me just kind of do it like this so that you know what i am doing this is rx and then this is basically your r y and these two pairs is your r z okay so i am doing it this way because you might have a problem understanding 
how I simplify each of the resistors. Lah. So basically, this is what I did. Lah. Which resistors did I simplify? Lah. Okay, so this is the solution for question number seven.